Chelsea stands on fresh 60 million bustling Gordon transfer with key Porter loan decision. Despite spending more than 250 million parsley in the summer trans window, Chelsea did not sign everyone they wanted to and some of the sagas promised to restart once more. After bringing Broyled in back and forth moves with Jules Koundé, Ousmane Dembele and Frankie de Jong, let alone other targets, including Robin and President Kim Pembe. Chelsea did manage to make a lot of key changes to their team, but the forward line still needs repairing. Under Graham Porter, Todd Bowley will hope that the new manager can bring some spark to a misfiring attack that has faltered for several seasons. Outside of getting the pass from Raheem Sterling, who has picked up in the only style he knows how, Chelsea do not have a player in form in their front line. <coughs> This was part of the reason that Thomas Tuchel was so keen to add creative players that he felt he could trust more than Hakim Ziyech or Christian Pulisic. Both want away players that would have preferred a move away in a group of targets image evidence Anthony Gordon. Although the price tag for the 21-year-old has a massive put off for Chelsea who were not prepared to go close to their 60 million parceling, at least. To Lou Gordon to SW6, their interest in the player is unlikely to have vanished since his links to the club which came out just weeks after he led a line for Frank Lampard against Chelsea at Goodison Park, Gordon has scored twice, half of his total for last season. <coughs> His goals came in back-to-back -back matches, giving off the sense that he was trying to prove a point to Chelsea. Instead, Bowley refused to dig out into his pockets too far for the Liverpoolian. Gordon will now have to wait to see if Chelsea come back in a fahima that could be impacted by Porter's decision regarding Callum Hazenodoy. The winger is currently on a one-year loan at Bayern Leverkusen but has the chance to be recalled in January. This, Football London has reported, is a serious option for Chelsea and Porter, who are both huge admirers of the player and demonstrates why Bowley was so keen to keep the transfer temporary. Whatever move Chelsea make for Gordon may well depend on the progress of Hatton Odoi and how he fits into a post-winter World Cup squad at Sanford Bridge. But transfer reporter Simon Phillips thinks there's a chance Gordon could come regardless of Hatton Odoi's future. He said to give me sport. I fully expect Chelsea to go in for him again, whether that's in January or the summer. Gunners clearly had his head turned by the Chelsea interest and he was pushing for that move. <laughs>